Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're showing you how to fix encoding overloaded in OBS 2022. I'm going to go over the more simple fixes in the beginning and then we'll eventually go to the more difficult one. So stick around to the end of the video if you can't find your fix. And in case, as I said, I will start with the more simple ways. So first off, I'm going to show you how it actually looks when you get the encoding overloaded. So as you can see here, we have the encoding overload, which you see clearly down here. So yeah, first off, I'm going to show you something that could work. You could go here to the OBS shortcut, do right click, click on properties down here. And what you can do, first of all, go to advanced. Here, as you can see, it says run as administrator. What you can do is, so you can click this to make sure that OBS will be running as administrator every time you launch it. And also important, right here on compatibility, you do run this program as an administrator. You click the box, apply and do OK. So next up here, actually in the preview zone, you can see here you have a preview of what the recording will look like. Now what you can do is right click and you go all the way up and you do click on enable preview and it'll basically disable the preview. This could also just help with the CPU and could avoid encoder overloaded. I'll actually go to the settings now. So you could do this for streaming and recording to be the same. Right off the bat, what's important is uh, the settings here. If you want, you can do it at output mode advanced. That is something you should do. But what can really help is the recording format. You have a couple of ones, but make sure that this one is actually on MP4. I also always advise to use MP4 because it's the most read video format. So we actually have another very important thing here, the encoder. Now I actually have it on X264 because I don't have a graphics card in this laptop, but I could set it to hardware as well, for example, in my case. Most important in your case is gonna to be to select your graphics card. Now, if you have a graphics card, for example, an Nvidia, it can be that OBS forgot or that you, or you didn't go into settings, actually select the encoder as your graphics card. Make sure that if you have a graphics card, that the graphics card is selected here in encoder. The CBR could go for another one, but I really like CBR and it works very well for me. You could put this down because it's obviously I have that 50,000, but you could bring it down if you want if it's too much for your pc so here you have the cpu usage i prefer i really like it to put it on ultra fast it does barely affect anything in the video quality you can see the higher the less cpu i always have this on ultra fast definitely something i would advise to you too especially if you have a low-end computer so then we can actually go to the audio tab here you just make sure that this is on uh, 48 kilohertz that's something that i could really advise but for the rest nothing really to note here now here in the video tab now if for example this resolution is too much you can always put it to 1280 and 720 for both of these also here downscale filter you could also check if the other ones work better like for example by cubic or by linear and then the fps you could bring this down to 30 if you want here in the advanced tab here you can do process priority and put it on high Direct 3D 11, NV12, 709 and the color range on full. We actually done for the settings in OBS. Now I'm going to actually show you something else. I'm going to go to my C disk. So you might already know where I'm getting at here. If you see my C disk, well mine is pretty full. If I go to properties here, I mean I've barely one gigabyte left out of the 191. This could definitely slow down your PC and provoke the encoding overload. So what you want to do, you can click here on disk cleanup. Here you can actually select some files data to be removed from. It will only remove files that really don't have any purpose. I can also, of course, check what he's actually going to remove. So yeah, in my case, because I have all this software downloaded. But in your case, also make sure you don't have any useless files, software that you don't use anymore. And make your computer faster and more efficient again. So I'm just going to go back here to OBS. So this is also very important. Um, while you're recording, make sure that nothing else is running. But it's important that the only thing is running is, for example, OBS the game in question do right click here you do art and you do a game capture name it whatever you want select the game that it's running you will actually be able to see if there's a game run and then make sure that these also and also just look through these but those are more preferences so in any case make sure that if it's recording then the only thing is recording is going to be the game and obs so at this point you still haven't fixed it don't worry if you go down here you can do right click and do task manager you can also do control delete okay as you can see right here we have obs what we can do actually is do right click Go to details. All right, while you're here, you do right click, set priority, and you set the priority to high. So you have to give OBS a priority. So in this case, set it to high here. Make sure that beforehand you set the priority to high because you can't do this while recording, unfortunately. But that's a very important detail. Make sure you do that. So I wanted to give you a couple of last fixes and from my experience why I had the encoding overloaded. So yes, I had it also because my computer is running low on space, so I had to do the disk cleanup. I had enough space on my disk, but still had the encoding overloaded. That's when I realized that in my case, I actually had ventilators so fans in my computer because I have a laptop that were full of dust. And I started hearing a grooming noise, I dumped my laptop underneath, I removed the dust. I like to use air pressure bottles, don't do it too close, but out all of the dust. It really helped at the time when I was having the encoding overload problem. This one because I wanted to say to you guys that it's not necessarily a problem with the software or the disk. It could also be your computer. Coming back to the too much files, useless files on your computer, you have to delete them for software. So the laptop in my case is almost five years old now. Which for a PC, especially a laptop, can definitely slow down the system. But definitely make sure that everything, also the components in your computer are still doing well. 
that computer isn't too slow in general. Let's make sure that your computer, because if your computer is slow, you can really expect that encoding overloader to happen. So also make sure that you have a good running computer so that OBS and the encoding overloader doesn't get affected as well. But that's the most fixes I could give you guys. It should really be in there, the solution. The fix should really be in there. If you still haven't found the fix, you can always ask it down in the comments below. In any case, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe, it would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.